Hello and welcome to a blind play of Heroes of Loot. So uh, Heroes of Loot is a new game from Orange Pixel. They've been around on Android for quite a while. Uh, I think one of the first games I bought for Android was from Orange Pixel. Actually, it was a flying game with airplanes. and Oh, it reminded me of the old spin you around airplane game back in the arcade days. I can't remember the name of that one either, but either way, um, this is a brand new one. So a blind play means I have not played this game or looked at it. I've seen screenshots. I, I don't think I've even looked at the movie of this one, so uh, you'll be playing along with me for the first time. So under options here, I see somebody playing music and Oh, there's a Google Plus login. Uh, that doesn't seem... Oh, I've got my internet turned off so I don't get disturbed. And all that good stuff. So uh, let's jump right on. Let's see, we've got the Warrior, the Wizard, Valkyrie, and an Elf. So I've always played the Wizard. I've always liked to sit back and blow things up. And hey, I don't see any reason why to change now. Let's see. the first level here. I'm playing on a Droid Razor, so it's a little bit of an older phone, uh, but it seems to play most games pretty well. Uh, so it looks like we have the dual stick uh, type setup. Oh, I've picked up a lightning spell already. Fantastic. Um, killing lots of guys here. Oh, something fell down. Oh, lots of guys in there. So this looks a lot, a lot more like Gauntlet than I thought it would. Uh, I figured this would be more of a regular uh, RPG-ish, dungeon crawler type thing, uh, but it definitely has a lot more guys per room than I expected, more of a gauntlet type feel, which not a bad thing. Gauntlet, one of my all-time favorite games, so um, that's kind of a neat take on it. So the wizard seems to lose his powers as time goes on. Uh, that's kind of interesting, so it looks like we have gold and hearts for health. There's a, I'm sure that's money, a treasure chest. Uh, I'm not really sure what the objective is here, so we'll keep looking around. Uh, not bad graphically, it's pixel art, which is uh, obviously hot right now. A lot of games kind of leveraging that. I think it's easier for people to get art together for it rather than something more realistic or, or more complicated. Um, and it fits well into this type of game, obviously. Um, there's a pause button here. We have an inventory. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Looks like a crystal ball. So, looks like I'm halfway through the dungeon. Maybe that's what that indicates. So let's uh, let's continue to play here and see what we can find. I don't see any map button or anything like that, so that doesn't help. So we can always put our hand on the on the wall to the left and hold on to it. I think that's how you're supposed to find your way out of mazes. Your right or left hand. Um, not that that's going to work here, but it's worth a shot. Come over here, it's dark. Oh, more coins. Oh, ghost over, I found a key. That's always a good thing. And there's the way out. Did I explore it all or not? Let's take a look at that. Uh, now, it doesn't seem to indicate indi indicate progress by those two flags. I thought maybe that showed a percentage of monsters or something like that. Uh, I guess not, so I'm guessing the first level short, so let's, let's dive into the second level here and see what we can find. And right into a room with monsters. Nothing wrong with that. Let's clear them out of the way. So that, that lightning thing I got in the first level is interesting, and it kind of popped right up right off the bat, whereas I've not seen that since, so I don't know if that's a more rare drop. Obviously, I have a lot of stuff swirling around me here. I guess I could pro a shop. Okay, so there we go. Maybe we can buy stuff to kind of take care of that. Let's see. Tapping, tapping, tapping. I could use a new hat. All right. Hmm, I don't know if I bought anything there. Let's go back in. Oh, here's the shop up here. Let's hop back in here. Oh, I see. It dropped us actually into the shop. Uh, similar stores in life. What else do we have? Coins, of course. Well, so much for my wizard hat. It's disappointing. I always use a new hat. Oh well, off we go. Kill some more guys, we'll come back there and maybe buy something at the level. I do have this fiery looking spell, which is almost out. So it looks like those are timer based. Looks like as you play through, there's a little timer bar that shows up and then gets used up as you go through the level. Did I level up again there? I don't know if I did or not. It looks like I may have. Yeah, it looks like I'm level 3. And let's see. 
Looks like I'm losing my mana here because I can't... Yeah, it looks like your mana bar is used with spells as well, so you have to be careful to save those for when you need them. You just can't spam them the whole time. That's interesting. Uh, that would have been nice to know before I used all my mana. No worries. I'm sure there's... A, oh, it looks like it recharges. Yeah, it looks like it recharges over time, so just navigating around. Oh, that's... Okay, that's probably the door out of here. Curious. I don't know why they would give you a shop with not enough money, but uh, I could have missed something too. Right, let's explore over here just to make sure. Yeah, it looks like this level is pretty much done. And I don't believe you can go back level, so we'll say goodbye to that shop. So, uh, not a bad little game. Uh, let's let's go up here a little bit further, see what this level looks like, and maybe check out one of the other characters um, before we get too far here. And this is something I think I would play. It's definitely uh, RPG-ish. I like that. I like uh, getting new loot. I like killing monsters and running around dungeons. So it's definitely in my wheelhouse. Um, you know, I think I've said it before. Anything with a anything I can level up, I'll play. I, I've been a long-time player of World of Warcraft and uh, Diablo, all those types of games where you get more and more loot, Torchlight, those games, anything like that I'm going to be all involved with because, I don't know, I like the treadmill, I guess. Um, so it looks like, uh, looks like my magic spell is just, oh, I found another key here. So the keys apparently drop from monsters, so uh, I'm guessing they make it where you need to at least get through part of the dungeon to get it. So my spells don't, oh, there we go. Looks like my finger was off the spell thing. I got a little level up there. Don't see any attribute boosts, so um, I don't see anything where, as you level up, you can boost certain properties of your character. There's an experience scroll. So again, not enough money uh, for that. Interesting that they would show me that. Maybe there's some in-app purchases that would somehow influence... That might influence people to buy a few coins or something ahead of time. I don't, I don't know. Uh, here's an uh, exit to the thing. Uh, there's a treasure chest over here. So a heart. I'm assuming those are health, obviously. So that's the wizard. Let's uh, let's leave this for now, and let's uh, let's play another character. I don't want to. Do I want to save my? Eh, we won't save him. So uh, let's try. I'm assuming a warrior is more of a, a, a up in your face character. So let's give him a try and see how he works. Uh, oh, so he's got lightning too, apparently. Oh, he throws things, actually. So they, he, he's not really a sword and board type character where you get right up on him and you hit him. Um, matter of fact, he plays a lot like a wizard. That's interesting. I would have expected him to have to be closer to the characters. Um, that's fine. You know, it's it's obviously a lot more difficult to show, uh, uh, I guess, in close combat with a, with a character like that. Uh, maybe it makes more sense where he's throwing swords and things like that. Uh, why not? So, ideally, it does play very nice. It's very uh, responsive um, when you have your finger on the actual uh, keys where they belong. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like he's got his exit. So that's that character. Let's uh, let's hop out and try one more, and we'll leave one more mystery for the people who want to check it out. This is the free version of the game. Um, so there may be some differences in the pay version. Uh, let's check out the elf. I'm assuming he's an archer of some sort. Uh, again, he throws he throws his uh, weapon, uh, whatever that may be. Oh, it looks like little arrows. Okay, fair enough. Um, so very cool. Nice, neat little game. Plays very well. Orange Pixel has a very good reputation on Android. Um, they've done it for quite a while. Uh, like I said, they're they're probably one of the first uh, development companies I bought a game from on the platform. Uh, so they've been around a while. They definitely know how to make a good game. Um, so yeah, if, as a blind look, I'll say I'll, I'll be back to play this. It's a very clean, fun little game. So there it is, Heroes of Loot. Um, please check it out on the, on the Google Play Store. I'll throw some links down the bottom for both the pay and the, the free version. Can't go wrong. You get the chance to play it out before you have to buy it. I think the the pay version of the game is relatively cheap. I, if I remember right, it was 2 bucks or $1.99 yeah, or, or so, or a dollar. I can't remember which, but uh, it's a deal either way. I'm sure you'd get tons of play out of it. Um, so check it out. Uh, Heroes of Loot.